Hello and welcome to Sense Business YouTube channel. In this lesson, we will cover 1.2.4, the competitive environment. In this lesson, we will learn understanding of the competitive environment, and we will, not, we will understand competition in term in business terms, and then we'll move on to learn about direct and indirect competitors. And then we will understand the strengths and weaknesses of competitors based on price, quality, location, and so on. And we will understand the advantages and disadvantages of competitive environment. We will understand the impact of competition on business decision making. And then I have put together some good to know terms for the exam because I've at the end of the day, the aim of these lessons is to make sure that you get that highest grade possible. So stay here, watch this video, and I promise you, you will get that A star that you really, really deserve. And make sure you watch all other videos as well. Okay, so we will begin the lesson by understanding what competition or competitors are. Are or a means so competition occurs when two or more businesses act independently to supply goods and services to the same group of customers so you have different businesses trying to win the same group of customers these businesses have same or similar products which this customer wants and they all try different tactics to win this customer and this is what basically competition competitive environment means and these who are competing against each other to win this customer is they are competitors to one another so that is what competitive environment and business means there are many businesses out there trying are providing um, are providing products and services which we the consumers demand there are so many businesses out there offering same product or service for us to choose from for example Morrison as the Tesco's Sainsbury's all offer bread for us to go and buy so these are all competing for us to go and buy for example bread milk biscuits chocolate from them they all have the same product but different logos branding so these are all competitors trying and competing in a market to win um, us the customers and that's why their market becomes competitive environment some of these businesses are really good at persuading people pers persuading people to buy their products and others are not so good competition is born where every business is trying to win the same customers so that's when competition starts. So that's where the competition begins, when all businesses have similar products trying to attract the same group or segment of customers. Having good knowledge of your competitors can help your business be prepared for their next move. Successful businesses have good understanding of their competitors because if you know what your competitor is going to do next, you can prepare your business for that uh, and make sure that you are ready. So if their move is that they will bring the prices down, you can put something in place to prevent your customers from going to that competitor. So competitive environment understanding your competing competitive environment and where your brand fits in it's probably the most commonly requested research service and the most important to a brand's survival a competitive environment is the dynamic external system in which a business competes and functions 
the more sellers of similar product or service, the more competition or competitive the environment in which you compete. Look at fast food restaurants. There are so many to choose from. The competition is high. However, if you look at airline tickets servicing Kabul in Afghanistan, very few actually fly to this city. So if you are somebody that has money, you have um, you could choose to open a fast food restaurant where the business and the com environment is extremely competitive because if you open a fast food restaurant or a takeaway you could be competing with Pizza Hut, KFC, Domino's, McDonald's, Burger King, Subway's but if you were to a travel agent providing uh, tickets for people to go to Afghanistan where the market isn't competitive, you will have higher chances of surviving because there's not that many big brands flying to Kabul. So you have better chances of surviving and making good amount of money if you were to target this city but if you wanted to join an already competitive environment there are high chances of you not succeeding so always make sure that a business that you are trying to get into has not very competitive environment and there's not so many big brands because they will they will overtake the market from you so let's get some examples let's, let's have a look at some examples for example smartphones how many choices do you have when it comes to buying smartphone there's millions hundreds of choices you have they seem to have multiplied overnight there's extremely competitive business environment it's like look at iPhone, Samsung, Blackberry, HTC, uh, Nokia, all sorts of phones out there. And then each has about 50 different br like sub products range that you can select from. So this market is extremely um, competitive. And then another example of extremely competitive environment would be the automobile industry. Again, almost every company produces a car in every category. So your Vauxhall, Ford, BMW, Audi, they all produce nearly similar cars in different categories. Therefore, when someone is uh, looking at uh, buying a new hybrid uh, sedan or full-size truck, they have so many options to choose from. And the, the, the businesses have made the environment very competitive. Obviously, the automobile industry can be segmented into commercial, uh, sorry, economical and uh, luxury brands. But when comparing within the same segment, there's significant competition. Again, another example would be grocery stores. This is also very competitive environment. Have you counted the number of different brands of canned vegetable you can choose from at your neighborhood grocery store so i want you to next time you visit sainsbury morrison or rasda wherever you shop i want you to actually have a little count of how many different canned vegetable there is on the counter all nearly same thing but each trying to segment themselves and uh, to tell you that they are different. There are so many companies pro producing very similar products for consumer to choose from. Now, each one is trying to differentiate their product in one way or another to increase sale. But in general, canned beans is canned beans, whether it's from Heinz or the generic store brands. That's why I'm not worried about getting the Morrison's brand or Heinz anymore because at the end of the day it's just the logo or branding that they have changed. Beans is beans that you just have on your toast and eggs. So 
some businesses will try to tell you that their beans is better than Morrison's or Sainsbury's um, brand because it has a logo of Heinz on it. Uh, that is not true. They just uh, they just try to differentiate to increase their own sell. And now there's a time for a little advert. So don't get an eye annoyed by these adverts as you know that's how I can afford to upload more and more content for you okay the disadvantages of competitive environment more competition means fewer sales because all the companies take some market share too competitors can become allies with the with other competitors and become more powerful so if there is four or five competitors in a market two or three of them might become allies to take over the market and then whereas just you your business is left this is the worst thing that you could ever happen to a business because when three or four businesses become allies they become stronger for example if you remember T-Mobile and uh, Orange became EE. Now they cover the entire UK and they provide, they promise to, to give you the best single in the UK. So that's the worst thing that could happen to all, to a business because all the businesses are going to be struggling. So like 2, 3 and O2, they are going to be they don't have a unique selling point now whereas ee has got a unique selling point so when competitors become um, allies it causes a bigger problem for the business in question competitors can take away potential investors or buyers an investor isn't likely to invest in two companies that compete they will choose the one to invest in Competitors can be first. Some companies may try to convince consumers why your brand or product is inferior to theirs, potentially damaging your reputation. It's, I've, I'm sure you have noticed some adverts of something trying to take the make out of Apple um, products, Apple iPhones. So some competitors will do that and to make themselves look good. Now the advantages. Advan there's lots of advantages for competitive environment, business environment, because when there is competition, companies have motivation and motivates a company. Look at smartphones. Every company tries to outdo the late, uh, the last released model. It spurs innovation and creativity on how to better your product or service. Marketing efforts from competition can increase your sales as well. Look at the car industry advertising the benefits of hybrid vehicles. Ford's hybrid commercial can potentially benefit Toyota sell of hybrid because it is uh, spreading the word of how great hybrid cars are so sometimes competition is good some more advantages of comfort competitive environment are it encourages businesses to make its product different or better than its competitors. Businesses will focus on one area of the market and their market strengths. Research will take place to improve their product and reduce costs. Improved customer service to retain existing customers. Can look at what competitors do well and improve their own products so like i said there are great amount of uh, benefits to competitive environment now we are going to talk about the types of competition and its effects so businesses will use product range can focus on on can be focused to specialize in a product or maybe widen to prevent competition so this brand here is different they have got widened their product range 
or to have lots of uh, to have lots of uh, to cover lots of segments in the market so if some adult is going to buy a toothbrush for themselves they are not having to go to another shop to buy toothpaste for their kids because this brand has a kids brand also so do you see how businesses can use different tactics to try and strengthen their uh, special uh, area and speciality and to make sure that they have most of the market and customer service is another one businesses may provide outstanding customer service to win all customers from competitors this will help them gain loyalty and reputation. And I used to work, I'll give you an example of good customer service and how loyalty and repetition can help business become successful, even if their product is not so great. I used to work in this takeaway. I'm not gonna say its name because they haven't paid me for um, giving them a shout, a shout out. I'm just kidding, they haven't. But I'm not going to say name anyway because they might find out who I am and then, uh, yeah. So, this takeaway used to, the boss used to talk to every customer that came into the shop and he would talk about football to them. He knew which customer supported which team because it was a local takeaway so everybody knew one another. And because the takeaway wasn't giving them the greatest food in the world but because of the customer service and people feeling a sense of belonging they would come to the shop at least once a week to buy something and it, it made a good reputation because these people that this my boss that i used the takeaway that i used to work and he made these people feel like they were part of something, give them a sense of belonging and they feel the, to be loyal to the business. And they were talking about the business everywhere and we had more and more customers coming and telling us, oh, so-and-so has recommended you to us, so-and-so has recommended um, your business to us. So the repetition of the business was extremely high, even though there were some businesses close by who were getting the products from the same supplier but they were not making as many sales because they won they didn't have good customer service so now after doing business for about seven eight years i know what that boss was trying to do and how he won their hearts and that was by providing outstanding customer service so another one would be price. Businesses will bring their prices lower than competitors to attract more com customers. Price decrease, possible price war. Quality. Businesses will provide high quality product services in order to win customers. They may decrease to save cost or may increase to differentiate from competitors. So location, place is very important for the distribution and promotion of products and services. Competitors are always trying to widen their network. Businesses may also locate close to competition to steal customers away and create a local monopoly. Again, a sh you might see a short advert pop up, but don't get annoyed by that because as you know, that's how I can afford to upload upload more and more videos for you guys so don't get annoyed by these adverts in the middle of the videos so effects of weak competition here's what happens when there is no or weak competition competitive environment the business can charge higher prices and make good profits Profits may be reinvested into the business or distributed to the owners. Quality, however, may suffer as the lack of competition can make the business lazy. Customers have no alternative, alternatives to buy if they wish to purchase this product. Direct competitors are businesses that are selling the same type of product or service as you for example McDonald's is direct competitor with Burger Kings Pizza Hut is a direct 
competitor to Domino's because they are both selling pizzas. Indirect competitors are businesses that will compete even though they sell a different service or product. The products or services offered by indirect competitors tend to be those that can be substituted for one another. Again, consider travel. You have the option to travel by plane, train or car. Therefore, airlines are also competing with train lines and buses, assuming the travel does not go overseas. Now, decision making. For business to make successful decision, they require information. Internal information about the business situation is easy to find to use in making a decision as every business note was, goes on internally. However, external information about the market in which the business is competing is harder to get and more difficult to interpret and to use in order to make a reliable decision as some businesses will not give out accurate information to outsiders. The level of competition and action of the competitors will influence the decisions a business makes. For example, faced with competition, should the business lower price, widen the product range or focus on innovation? These decisions will be important to a business if, if it wants to remain competitive in the market. Happy days. Now we have listed about 15 good terms to know for your uh, business uh, exam, business studies exam. So these terms, I'll go one by one and uh, read them out to you. So stay tuned and let's learn them, learn them together. Market is a place where buyers and sellers trade a good or service. Competitors, a firm offering similar product to customers. Competition, all those firms offering similar products to customers. Strength, the things a business does well. Weakness, the things a business does less well. Decision making, selecting a course of action between several alternatives. Direct competitors, Business selling the same type of good or service as this firm. Indirect competitors. Businesses sell a different service or goods but in, are still in competition with this firm. Price. The amount customer pay for goods or service. Cost. The amount spent by firm making products. Profit. The amount left over from in revenue after paying all costs. Customer needs. The requirements buyers have for a good or service. Trial purchase. When customers buy and try out an item to see if it is worth buying again. Repeat purchases. When customers continue to keep buying the firm's product. Here's an activity I have prepared for you, for you, which you can take to help you remember the key points of this PowerPoint presentation. So I'd like you to create a PowerPoint presentation and explain what is it meant by competition. Do you think markets are becoming more or less competitive? How does the rise of Amazon and their business model impact the competition on the high street? based upon price, quality, location, product range, and customer service. Also, why are small high street retailers disadvantaged compared to a company like Amazon? I would like you to, if you're watching this video in a class, I would like you to discuss this in 10, um, spend about 10 minutes discussing then this, then create a PowerPoint presentation and groups of four and present it to your class. If you are watching this video alone, I would like you to 
message me privately and send me the PowerPoint presentation and I might get it uploaded to this channel and uh, have a picture of you at the end of it. So do whatever suits you best. Finally, question time. I would like to answer these question in the comment section below because it is very important that you actually answer this question and you know them because these will possibly come in your exam so i want you to list three different types of competition and its effect i want you to state the difference between direct and indirect competition i would like you to list one advantage and one disadvantages of competitive environment and i'd like you to give me a reason why business competition is good or bad make sure you comment that below make sure you also like share and subscribe to this channel thank you for joining me in this lesson and i will see you in the next video take care for now